everyone, in this episode of HubFuel, we will be discussing data sets. So essentially, a data set is a set of data collected from HubSpot properties, which can be utilized to create more defined custom reports. To break this down even further, we can use data sets to combine properties in HubSpot with formulas to create the data we wish to see. An example of this could be to calculate tiers corresponding to deal amount. To demonstrate, this would involve the if function and look to see if the deal amount is below a certain threshold and group this accordingly to tiers, low profit, medium profit or high profit. If we then preview the data on this data set, we can see that by defining the criteria for each tier, we have successfully grouped our deals based on deal amount. Now, to start at the beginning, to access data sets, simply go to reports and then to data sets. This is where you'll see any existing data sets that have been created as well as create your own. When you create a data set, it is important to select the correct primary data source, which is the location of the data you would like to focus on. This is key as any additional data sources selected will have to relate to the primary source. When selecting the data sources we want, we will see the relationship between these appear on the right hand side. Once you are happy with your selection, simply click next. And this is where we will need to drag over the properties we want to include in the data set. For this example, I will be using primarily the deals object and use the deal name property as well as the create date, close date, and amount. If we click on the preview data here, we can see that it has pulled up some that have no amount. Therefore, it's really important to make sure that you filter your data to ensure that you are seeing exactly what you want. So for example, I am going to filter on deals amount is known. After this is done, we will need to click the create formula field. And this is where we will create our formula that buckets our data together. Make sure that you name your new field as this is really important as it comes up onto the report later down the line. For example, I will name this account, target account, um, demo. Now this is where we add the formula in this box here. Um, as explained on my previous example, I am going to be using the if function. And the great thing about HubSpot is that it has included a formula guidance box, which in my opinion is great as it allows you to view examples related to the function that you choose. So as this now provides the exact function I need, I'm simply going to copy and paste this. Perfect. Again, you do not have to use the examples. They are just there for guidance and you can also unselect this box if you desire. Now, as this was an example formula, this was already validated, but when creating your own custom formula, please make sure that you click this button to see any errors and rectify this as otherwise you cannot use this. And as we can see down in the preview data, this has then populated with the amount and the target account demo, low profit, medium profit or high profit. Once we are happy with our data set and checked everything is okay, press next and then save. Perfect. This is where we can preview all of the data that is in the data set, as well as the metadata and any reports that are based on this data set. To build a report, simply click report. And this works exactly the same as a custom report. But as you can see, the data set fields are down here. If we drag this across, we can see then the data based on our bucketed formula field target account demo, which buckets the amounts of high profit, low profit and medium profit. So this creates a custom report, which includes our formula and we can group our data in a more concise and clean manner.